This is Hanna from Talk Talk Korean. Today, I'll give you six great tips that'll help you learn Korean efficiently. These tips come directly from my personal opinions and experiences, and also from my Korean learner peers. So I believe that these tips will help you guys, so I wanted to share them. Are you ready? Learn words in a context. Don't just repeatedly memorize word lists. Even if you have memorized words that day, you'll probably forget a lot of the words a few days later, and you'll be very disappointed. If you force yourself to memorize words, learning new vocabulary will be very tough for you. If you really like to learn vocabulary, I recommend you to really try to understand the words and know where and how those words are used in a context. When you see a new word, look up the definition. Now here's the important part. Do not just try to memorize the definition, but really learn where the words are used in a context. Find out some example sentences and try to think where you have heard or seen that word. If you understood the word at that time and you still tend to forget it later, that's okay. If you see the word again in other contexts and look up the word again to see what it means, you will eventually remember the word sometime or another. Do not overwhelm yourselves on the rules. What I mean by rules is don't get too obsessed with learning grammatical structures and grammar rules. Grammar can get super complex and it can overwhelm you. In the beginning stage of learning Korean, I suggest you to not focus too much trying to figure out how to speak correctly, meaning focusing just on grammatical structures or how sentences are formed. When you start to get technical with how the sentence is structured and trying to figure out proper ways to use correct grammar too much, you will actually start to lose confidence when having a conversation with other people. You will actually start hesitating when you're speaking because you're constantly thinking if you use the correct grammar or not. Of course, it is necessary to learn grammar to be fluent in Korean. But I just mean don't focus too much on analyzing grammatical structures and rules. Understand the culture to understand the language. It'll make it easier and better to learn Korean when you understand Korea's culture, such as food, music, TV shows, and their lifestyle. Knowing its culture aspects will provide you many conversation opportunities because you'll be able to come up with various topics to talk about. For example, remember how I made a video about pan magasa, which it literally means did you eat? But in the culture aspect, it means how are you? And it is used as a greeting form. If you keep yourself updated with Korean's latest trends, It'll help you come up with many conversation opportunities because you already know about Korean's culture. It'll also help you um, bond and create a firm relationship with Koreans and ultimately develop language skills to take it to the next level of your Korean learning journey. Don't just use one textbook or one resource. As far as textbook goes, I do not recommend you using one specific textbook to learn Korean. For example, different books contain different explanation styles and specific grammar points and structures as some might offer more detailed explanations. If you use all the resources that you have available, this is a great way to strengthen your learning skills, such as websites, different kind of websites, YouTube, online news articles, and additionally, Korean dramas and Korean variety shows are also some resources. I highly recommend Korean variety shows and talk shows because entertainment TV programs are much more closer to how Koreans interact daily as it contains commonly used phrases and slang words. Although you may not fully understand what they're saying, Korean captions are often provided as it captures important key points so you can follow along. Some variety shows that I recommend are Running Man, Muan Dojeon, Ilbak Il, Uri Kyoron Esoyo, Happy Together, and Annyeonghaseyo. Don't depend too much on romanization. 
romanization is not 100% accurate when it comes to pronunciation in Korean. For example, 보고 싶어. This can have many romanizations, but the most two common romanizations are shown here. When you literally read this in English, it sounds like this. The first one, 보고 싶어. Or the second one, 보고 싶어. So this is different than how it sounds in Korean. I recommend you to learn Hangul. Hangul, which is the Korean alphabet, is easier than you think, and it only takes a short amount of time to learn it. All in all, learning a new language takes a lot of effort and time. I know this might sound cliche, but there's really no shortcut when it comes to learning a new language. Don't think of learning Korean as another subject from school, but rather an interest that you have. Learning a new language doesn't have to be dull or boring, but just try to have fun. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 또 만나요. 안녕.